How's it going guys? Sardine Prevail here. Just into the cabin for a night. Beautiful day here in Newfoundland today. Uh, so I'm going to make some splits here right away. Get a fire going, get this place warmed up a little. And uh, get some food on. And uh, we'll probably do some stuff around the cabin. Got to collect some firewood and stuff. So uh, hope you guys stay tuned. So guys, uh, I know I showed you guys this uh, <clears throat> lantern before, but I did a bit of research on it, and it turns out it's an old railroad lantern. Now, uh, I've seen them on eBay and stuff with different colored globes and stuff, so I don't know if maybe the different colored globes mean something different uh, for using them at the railroads. Uh, I would assume they do because they have green and red the globes and uh, of course I have the clear one I couldn't really pick out what it said on the top here because it was uh, rusty but after I cleaned up the globe the glass I could see that says uh, says diets I think d-i-e-t-z or z wherever you're from doesn't matter but and then it says Vesta v-e-s-t-a and then it says New York USA so I did a bit of research and found out that's what it is, a railroad lantern, and, and they go for like a hundred bucks on uh, eBay actually. Not that I'm going to sell this, but uh, they are on there as uh, vintage or antique lanterns, railroad lanterns. So if anybody knows, uh, uh, has some info on, on these lanterns, I'd, I'd love to hear it because uh, I'm having trouble finding uh, some stuff online, some information. But it still has the wick and stuff. So the bottom comes unscrewed like that, and then, then the wick unscrews from here. And uh, like that. And then I guess you fill it up here. So I did bring some lantern fuel. Uh, I did look on the bottom, it's a little rusty, but it doesn't look like there's any holes or anything. So I'm gonna fill it up right now. And then hopefully later tonight, the wick would have soaked it up and now uh, we can give this lantern a try and see if it works okay. I'm pretty excited to give it a go here. The wick is getting short though so I'll probably have to uh, get a new one shortly. I'll make sure I check again before I light it to make sure it's not leaking and stuff. It's just uh, pops right back up in here. You see there's a space there for your wick adjustment. There it is. And this just snaps into place. Also this, the top also comes up like this, which I think is pretty neat. I would assume you pop the top, lift the globe, it's a nice thick globe too, I must say. I don't know if you guys, you guys can pick that up, but it's a big thick globe. Then you light it, globe back. snap the top down but I absolutely love this lantern and uh, I really hope it works okay I'm sure it will also I was I was thinking this handle was damaged I, I was thinking it was just supposed to be a normal handle but as you see there's a little crook in the handle and I just thought it was a damaged handle but all the ones I looked at on eBay all the images I looked at they all have that little crook like that so I have no idea what it's for why that would be bent like that but uh, like I said if anybody has any more info on it I'd love to hear it you can uh, email me or, or just leave a comment or message me on Facebook or Instagram yeah so we'll give her a go in a few hours Okay, let's go cut some firewood. Now 
not sure if you guys can pick up all that orange thread around my uh, rear shaft there, but this is what happened. Got loose one day, wrapped it around there, and oh well. So there's a bunch of dead standing right here. I'm going to cut some of that. Junk it up. Put my little sleigh here and tow it behind the quad back to the cabin. What I'm going to do here is try to modify my sleigh as a uh, towing sleigh behind the quad. <coughs> Not sure if it's going to work, but if I just use the rope and tow it behind the quad, the sleigh, it's going to uh, keep sliding up and, and hitting me, hitting my wheels and stuff. So I'm gonna try. Not sure if it's gonna work, but let's see how it goes. Not gonna lie, that didn't work as well as I had, I had hoped. Uh, came untied a couple of times. Sleigh flipped over once, lost a few junks. But still, I'm back to the cabin with a load of wood. All good.
hot in here now. So it is 429. Uh, sun is just starting to go down. So I want to get something to eat a little earlier today. That way I can head out for a little walk with my 22 just before dark. And uh, hopefully we'll get a shot at a rabbit or something maybe. I was recording. Uh, with my uh, other camera recording a fox across the across the little valley there where I dumped some old moose meat he was there playing around on the snow and stuff sitting around he was digging around and where I dumped the meat there watched him for a good 15 minutes or so so we got some homemade bread now this is actually Towton's it's just baked so it's bread but if you fry the dough and you got Towton's now this is a meal fit for a king right here with a million dollar view right in front of me. Life is good. Amazing. beauty evening now just gonna head out got my 22 <clears throat> see if we can see a rabbit just before dark here so sun's already set just using my little uh, flip camera here because it has much better zoom <clears throat> As you can see, No rabbits. No 
back uh, to the cabin now guys for my little hike around with the 22 check out the sky that's the town way out there you can see the lights a few kilometers away But what a beauty evening here. Wow. It's getting pretty cold too now. Beautiful. Okay guys, I'm pretty, pretty stoked. Try this lantern here for the first time. Yes. Now that is a thing of beauty right there. I love it. Okay guys, I'm heading to bed. It's 10.14. 22.7 uh, degrees in the loft, so that's not bad at all. Uh, just filled up the stove. Finished doing some reading. Trappers and Trailblazers. Some good stories in that one. Anyway guys, we'll catch you in the morning. Morning guys, just getting the fire roaring again here, I let the fire go out overnight, uh, when I went to bed, geez, it got up to like 35 degrees in the loft, so I just let the, just let the stove go out, I had my uh, military sleeping bag, so I was fine all night, but I certainly didn't want to get out of the sleeping bag this morning, it was freezing here, but Starting to get some heat around here now. Got the kettle on, gonna get the pan on in a minute, get some bacon cooking. Head out, check my snares. And if I have time before the weather starts here, I'm going to uh, get another load of um, dead standing there for the cabin. Didn't get to see a sunrise this morning, unfortunately. It's too cloudy. Wind has picked up quite a bit too. Breakfast is served guys. Got some bacon and eggs, spaghettios, homemade bread, and coffee of course. I'm gonna eat this and uh, head out check the rabbit snares. So no luck with the rabbit snares or the coyote snares. So I'm gonna get ready and uh, go cut another sleigh load of uh, dead standing here 
try to get this stack back up in here. I'd rather be uh, ahead on the wood than come down and have to be looking for wood in order to stay the night. I like to have a nice little pile here ready to go. Crappy weather is just starting. I'm not sure if you guys can pick that up. But before I go, I got a big old dirty pile of dishes here. It's got to be done, of course. Oh, that's from a few trips down here, actually. I just kind of put it off and put it off, but now I'm at the point where, uh, yeah, I got to wash the dishes. So guys, I'm going to uh, let the fire die out here and uh, head out. So I uh, had an awesome night. Uh, got some patching done on the roof there with the tar. Uh, got a bunch of caulking done inside. Got my old lantern working here. Collected a bunch of firewood. And of course, cooked some good food. Uh, also did a little Facebook Live last night. So if you guys uh, have Facebook, head over and like my Facebook page. And uh, I also have an Instagram. I'm pretty active on both. Uh, I try to post daily. So even though it might be a week or 10 days between videos on YouTube, I'm, I'm active on uh, Instagram and Facebook pretty much every day. So, so anyway, guys, uh, you can probably hear the wind is picking up, the snow and freezing rain or whatever it is. And... Uh, it's going to get pretty nasty on the roads here, so I'm going to uh, shut her down right now. And uh, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.